Why are people so obsessed with signals right now? I mean, they don't look that different than use state and react. Yet more and more, we're seeing frameworks created with this construct, adding this construct, or gaining popularity because of it. There's two reasons to care. The first is performance. A general rule of performance is do less work. So whereas React has this mental model of re-render everything, such that when this renders on the server, this log will run. When the page loads, it'll run again to hydrate. And on every single click of the button, this log will run yet again. We run all this code and re-render everything every time. That means more code to download, more CPU cycles to run, and overall more work to do. This means as applications grow larger, they run more slowly, whereas with signals, for instance, in SolidJS, this log will only run twice ever, one time when the server renders and one time when the browser hydrates. Every time we click this button, this log never runs again because the signal can granularly update this count value. It doesn't have to re-execute the hooks or the render body or do any diffing. Instead, it can laser in to this text node and update that value and do literally no other work. Less work means faster updates, especially as applications get more complex. The Quick framework takes this even further. With Quick, this log literally never runs in the browser. Clicking this button inline updates this text node. There is never hydration, and you will never see this console log in the browser. Getting to that level of granularity means extreme performance so that your websites load insanely fast because they load practically as just pure HTML, and they update insanely fast because instead of running a full re-render, a diff, and patch, instead like SolidJS, we'd laser in and write to that text node with no other work to be done. But there's an even more impactful benefit of signals. They can create a cleaner and simpler developer experience. Let's say we want to add a time interval to update this count. We'd normally use use effect and set interval, and then we'll set counts to count plus one. But wait, do you know the bug we're going to run into? Count will never update because it's frozen in time from the last render. So every second when this interval runs, we're going to keep calling set counts with the value of one over and over and over. Now you might say, aha, you need to update your dependency array. And of course, do your cleanup at the end too. But now we have a new set of issues. Our interval will no longer be a one second perfect interval. Every time use effect runs, it's destroyed and recreated. So its cadence will be all over the place. But when using signals with frameworks like Quick, SolidJS, Preact, Vue, or soon Angular, this is not a concern. We can simply write our normal set interval logic. And like you'd expect, count is always the latest count. So we can get and set them with fresh values all the time, never worrying about stale values and esoteric bugs and edge cases that can create. The same exact thing goes with quick. Use a client effect, update the value, clear the interval on cleanup, and it just works the way you'd expect. And because the signal values are mutable, we can not only pass them to external functions, like set interval, we can pass them to child components, deeply down in the tree using context, or to other libraries and hooks, and we get a granular and reactive reference all the way from the source to anywhere the value is displayed. So if anyone anywhere updates this value, only exactly who listens to it will need to update and only at the time it's updated. No diffing, no dirty checking, and no complicated use reducer logic. Learn more about what signals are, how they work, and how you can use them on the builder.io blog.